الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلاۃ وسلام علیہ سید الانبیاء والمرسلین اما بعد فاعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الصلاۃ وسلام علیہ یا رسول اللہ و علا علیہ و اصحاب کیا حبیب اللہ الصلاۃ وسلام علیہ یا نبی اللہ و علا علیہ و اصحاب کیا نور اللہ Welcome back dear viewers of Madani channel to another episode within our series titled Exemplary Devotees. This is such a beautiful and new program in which we learn about the lives of the companions radiyallahu ta'ala anhum, their love for the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And alongside this, as the topic refers to those who are true devotees of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, inshallah we will go through those things and discuss those topics which will make us better devotees of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Like today's topic is regarding Makkatul Mukarramah. And a question may arise that how does Makkatul Mukarramah have a link to being an exemplary devotee? Well, dear views of Madani channel, when a person loves anyone, then every single thing related to his beloved becomes beloved. So inshallah today, out of love for the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa we will listen and we will mention the virtues of Makkatul Mukarrama, its special qualities and characteristics, as well as the sayings of the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa in this regard, as well as Quranic verses. With this intention that we too will further become inspired and the love of the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa and his blessed city Makkatul Mukarrama the love for this blessed city be instilled within our hearts. Let us commence by mentioning a excellence, a virtue of reciting Salat ala Nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam. The beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, whoever recites Salat upon me once, Allah azza wa jal sends 10 mercies upon him, forgives 10 sins and elevates his rank by 10 times. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam. Subhanallah, the views of Madani channel, the excellences of reciting Salat ala al-Nabi upon the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam are immense. We too should make it our routine. Whenever we forget or we lack, inshallah these reminders will help and benefit us. That we will further remember and spend our time remembering our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, our greatest saviour. Dear viewers of Madani channel, Makkatul Mukarrama is that blessed city which every Muslim yearns to go at least once in their lifetime. It is that city which is the birthplace of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The city in which the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam graced the world with his honorable presence. Makkatul Mukarrama is that honorable city for which angels circulate its blessed surroundings. The protection of this honorable city and the divine protection made by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with commanding the angels to protect and make this city safe. Makkatul Mukarrama is that city which a person will spend all of his wealth just to go and visit that sacred city. The true devotees of the Holy Prophet wasallam understand the value of this sacred city. And my dear views of Madri channel, the blessed Kaabatul Musharrafa, the honorable house of Allah, Kaaba Sharif, is within the blessed city of Makkatul Mukarrama. We have Al Hajrul Aswad, the black stone. That is in Makkatul Mukarramah. We have Maqam Ibrahim, the standing place of Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam, when he went upon it to build and construct the Holy Kaaba Sharif. We also have 
the blessed fountain of Zamzam, we also have Safa and Marwa. We have such great lands and we have historical Islamic monuments in the blessed land of Makkah al Mukarramah. We have Jannatul Ma'la, the blessed graveyard of Makkah al Mukarramah, in which the wife of the Holy Prophet, وسلم, the very first wife of our Prophet, وسلم, Sayyidah Khadija al Kubra anha, is buried, and other companions of the Prophet وسلم, are also buried there. This is that blessed land which was the first city in which Islam came and the message of Islam had spread first throughout this blessed city of Makkah al Mukarramah. I would like to first commence with verses of the Holy Quran mentioning the virtues of this sacred city, Makkah al Mukarramah. The blessed city of Makkah al Mukarramah is very beloved and dear to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This blessed city, Makkah al Mukarramah, is very beloved and dear to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as well. Number one, Makkah al Mukarramah is a city of peace and in the Holy Quran Sharif, Makkah al Mukarramah has been mentioned like this in various places. For example, in one place of the Holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions and recall when Ibrahim requested that, O oh my Lord, make this city, i.e. Makkah al Mukarramah, peaceful. So even the Holy Quran Sharif recognizes Makkah al Mukarramah as a peaceful city. Another virtue is mentioned by our Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ramadanu bi Makkata afdalu min alfi Ramadana bi ghayri Makkah. Subhanallah. One Ramadan spent in Makkah al Mukarramah is superior to a thousand months of Ramadan spent elsewhere, spent outside or other than Makkah al Mukarramah. Subhanallah. The virtue of Makkah al Mukarramah that performing the fast of Ramadan in Makkah al Mukarramah is far greater than any other city. Another heart-wrenching, a very dear and emotional saying of the Holy Prophet وسلم, which is renowned amongst the Muslims regarding the city of the Prophet وسلم, Makkah al-Mukarramah. A city which was beloved to the Holy Prophet وسلم, It's reported, Sayyiduna Abdullah bin Adi radiallahu anhu has said, that he once saw the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alihi Wasallam upon his blessed camel and he said these blessed words By Allah, you are the best land from the lands of Allah and you are the most beloved to me of all of Allah's lands. By Allah, if I was not taken out from this blessed land I would never have left. Allahu Akbar. My dear viewers of Madrin Channel, look at the love that our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam expressed for the city of Makkah al Mukarramah, the city in which he was born in. Furthermore, Makkah al Mukarramah is a sacred sanctuary, a sacred haram until the Day of Judgment. Sayyiduna Safiya bint Shayba radiallahu ta'ala anha reported, that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alihi Wasallam delivered a sermon, a khutbah, a speech on the day of the conquest of Makkah, on Fath Makkah, announcing, O oh people, Allah has made this city a sanctuary from the day that He created the heavens and the earth. By Allah's declaration, it is sanctified until Yawm Al Qiyamah, until the Day of Judgment. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. The sanctity of Makkah Al Mukarramah is being mentioned by our Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. My dear viewers of Madani Channel, on, whilst listening to these narrations and these beautiful statements and virtues of Makkah Al Mukarramah, 
please ponder over how much love do we have for this sacred city of the Prophet ﷺ. The city in which the birthplace of the Prophet ﷺ took place. That city which was very dear to the Prophet ﷺ. That city which was very dear to the exemplary devotees of the Prophet ﷺ. How much love do we have for the city of Makkah al-Mukarramah? How much opportunities and occasions do we take to go and visit the sacred land of Makkah al-Mukarramah. We too, my dear viewers of Madani Channel, should spend our wealth in the way of Allah and travel to these sacred lands, perform the Hajj, perform our Umrah time and time again and performing du'as and more importantly, remembering the value of this sacred land. Understand the maqam that you are standing in. In today's time, unfortunately, people are seen disrespecting and doing disrespectful actions whilst in the city of Makkah al-Mukarramah whether they be committing sins on the mobile phone whether looking unlawfully at the sisters walking around or the sisters unlawfully looking and staring at men and other people doing many other sorts of things we have to understand and remember the land that we have come upon this is no ordinary land and this is not an ordinary this is not a holiday this is a sacred religious visit and we must take this as a very sacred and religious visit. We must spend our time wisely there, protect ourselves from sins, busy our time observing and looking at the Holy Kaaba al Musharrafah, reciting the Holy Quran, staying within the Sahan and the blessed surrounding area of the blessed Kaaba al Musharrafah, doing good deeds, teaching our children about the excellences and virtues of this sacred city. Let us go further. It's been mentioned by our Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Look at the maqam of Makkah Al-Mukarramah and Madinah Al-Munawwara. La yadkhulud dajjalu Makkah walal Madinah. The Dajjal, the Antichrist, will be unable to enter Makkah and Madinah. The Dajjal will not be able to enter Makkah and Medina. This is the sanctity and this is the power of these sacred lands that we are protected from such an evil and fitna befall the people. My dear viewers of Madani Channel, look at the virtues of just remaining patient upon the heat of Makkah al Mukarramah. It's been mentioned by the final Prophet, our beloved Master, Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alihi wa Sallam. Man sabara ala harri Makkata. Sa'atan min naharin taba'adat anhun nar. Whoever bears the heat of Makkah for a part of a day patiently, the fire of hell is distanced from him. Subhanallah, subhanallah. But my dear viewers of Madani channel, we must reflect on our state when we go and we are honored and privileged to visit the sacred lands, Haramain Sharifain. What is our behavior like? What is our mindset? Are we complaining to our fellow travelers, our family members about the heat? We didn't know it's going to be this hot, etc. Or are we remaining patient and reflecting upon this narration, memorizing this narration, remembering this narration when we are in the sacred lands? Tell our loved ones who have gone. Encourage them to be patient upon the heat of Makkah al-Mukarramah because that heat which is far worse and more severe and long lasting than the heat of this dunya is the fire of hell. We should have this fear that lest we be thrown into this fire and that we are kept far away from this fire of hell. A very beautiful narration, my dear Visa Madri, inshallah, regarding the one who falls ill in the city of Makkah al-Mukarramah. It's so amazing just to reflect and read these narrations that a person, you know, he's gaining reward for something which is a natural, uh, you can say difficulty that for, befalls a person in his life. Naturally falling ill, having a flu, having a headache, maybe an upset stomach or other things. Sore throat it may be. These things are natural within your life. If a person falls ill inside the city of Makkah al-Mukarramah, look at the reward, my dear viewers of Madani channel. It's stated by Sayyiduna Sa'id ibn Jubair, radiallahu anhu, the companion of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, whosoever falls ill 
for one day in Mecca al mukarrama Whoever falls ill for one day in Mecca al mukarrama Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants him the reward of that good deed which he has performed for seven years but is unable to carry it out due to the illness. And if he is a traveler, he will be granted double the reward. Allahu Akbar. Subhanallah. So if a person resides in Makkah Al-Mukarramah and he becomes ill in Makkah Al-Mukarramah for just one day, he gets the reward as seven years of performing a good deed. Seven years of a good deed. If he's unable to carry out the action due to the illness. And if he's a traveler, like many people are, then you get double that reward. Subhanallah. So my dear views of Madani channel, we should also be patient upon the difficulties that befall us in our life generally, and then more, and especially when we are in the sacred lands of Makkah Al-Mukarramah. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said, Whosoever passes away in any one of the two sanctuaries, meaning Makkah and Medina, if anyone passes away within them, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will raise him with the safeguarded people on the Day of Judgment. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. The place of the noble Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's birth. As we mentioned, another virtue of Makkah Al-Mukarramah is that the final Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was born in this city. This also gives an honor to the city of Makkah Al-Mukarramah that the greatest Prophet of Allah the most virtuous prophet, the most devout worshipper of Allah, and the greatest messenger and prophet of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, was born in the city of Makkah al-Mukarramah. This in itself raises the rank of and status of Makkah al-Mukarramah. And very famously, we know that the reward of one salah is equivalent to 100,000 salahs in Masjid al-Haram. Subhanallah. And like this, my dear viewers of Madni channel, for us to understand the greatness and grandeur of anything, the more names that have been associated with that particular thing or personality, the more names it has, the more its status is elevated and the more great it is. Just 10 names I'd like to share with you. It has been known as Al Balad, Al Baladul Amin. Al Balada, Al Qariya, Al Qadisiya, Al Baytul Atiq, Maad, Bakka, Ras, and Ummul Qura. These are just 10 names given to the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's first city in which he resided, Makkah Al Mukarramah. And if we reflect on the Holy Quran, my dear views of Madani channel, the greatness of Makkah Al Mukarramah is such. That the Quran is filled with many verses which praises and bestows honor to the city of Makkah al Mukarramah. For example, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna awwala baytin wudi'a lin nasi lalladhi bi bakkata mubarakan wa hudallil alameen. Translation of the Quran comes with Iman. Indeed, the first house which was established as a place of worship for the people is the one which is in Bakka, which means Makkah al-Mukarramah. That house is the Kaaba Sharif, blessed and a guide to the entire world. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. Another verse which shows the greatness of Makkah al-Mukarramah. وَإِذْ جَعَلْنَا الْبَيْتَ مَثَابَةً لِلنَّاسِ وَأَمْنَا وَاتَّخِذُوا مِنْ مَقَامِ إِبْرَاهِيمَ مُصَلَّى وَعَهِدَنَا إِلَىٰ إِبْرَاهِيمَ وَإِسْمَاعِيلَ أَنْ طَهِّرَا بَيْتِيَ لِلطَّائِفِينَ وَالْعَاكِفِينَ وَالرُّكَّعِ السُّجُودِ The translation is, and recall, when we made this house, meaning the Kaaba, a focal point for the people and a place of safety, and make the standing place of Ibrahim, meaning Maqam Ibrahim, a station for Salah. And we emphasize to Ibrahim and Ismail that they must purify my house well for those who perform tawaf, circumambulation, 
and those who perform i'tikaf, i'tikaf, the devotional seclusion in a masjid, and those who bow down and prostrate. Subhanallah. Al Bayt in this verse refers to very clearly Al Ka'batul Musharrafa and includes the entire sacred sanctuary, includes the entire haram of Makkatul Mukarramah. Mathaba, my dear viewers of Madani channel, this is a place of continuous return and Muslims continuously return to this sacred place to perform Hajj and Umrah, to visit the Holy Kaaba. Making the place a sanctuary means that it is forbidden to murder or kill anything within it. The station of Ibrahim mentioned in this verse is the stone upon which Sayyidina Ibrahim stood during the construction of the Holy Kaaba. And as a result of standing upon the stone, the blessed body of Sayyidina Ibrahim والسلام, the power of prophethood within him, as a result of him standing upon these, this blessed stone, his footprints are imprinted upon it. And praying next to it is virtuous and recommended. Subhanallah. Within the Holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لا أقسم بهذا البلد وأنت حل بهذا البلد I swear an oath by this city, meaning Makkah al that because, O oh beloved, you are present in this city. In other words, dear beloved, sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, I swear by the city of Makkah, for you are in it. I take an oath by the city of Makkah because you are in it. And really, Makkah al Mukarramah has attained this greatness only because of your presence within the blessed city of Makkah al Mukarramah. So, my dear views of Madani channel, Alhamdulillah, we have heard many virtues and excellences of Makkah al Mukarramah. Another great virtue of Makkah al Mukarramah is that this is the place where du'as are accepted. And we famously know that the blessed place of birth of our Holy Prophet وسلم, is Makkah al Mukarramah. And the mother of Khalifa Harun Rashid rahmatullahi alayhi, had built a masjid there at the birthplace of the Holy Prophet. وسلم. But now that blessed house has been replaced with a library which has a board. Maktabatu Makkah al Mukarramah, the library of Makkah al Mukarramah. But that is actually the blessed home, and that is the, actually the place where the Prophet was born. Another blessing of Makkah al Mukarramah was that the well of Zamzam is in Makkah al Mukarramah. And just very quickly, our Prophet has stated the water of Zamzam is for that very purpose that it is drunk for. If you drink it for the purpose of shifa, for cure, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant you shifa, cure. If you drink it for the purpose of protection, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant you protection. If you drink it for the purpose of quenching your thirst, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will quench your thirst. As mentioned by Sayyiduna Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhuma, whilst before drinking the water of Zamzam, he would make this dua. He would recite, Allahumma as'aluka ilman nafi'a wa rizqan wasi'a wa shifa'an min kulli da. O oh Allah Azza wa Jal, I ask you for beneficial knowledge, increased sustenance, and cure from every illness. Subhanallah Azza wa Jal. My dear viewers of Madani channel, May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the true love and devotion for the honorable city of Makkah al Mukarramah. There are so many points to mention, and we all are very well versed in the status and grandeur of Makkah al Mukarramah. I pray Allah gives us the ability to remember this and to act upon these, to teach these to our youngsters. This is a very sacred land, and may we be offered and honored with the trip towards the sacred lands time and time again. Sallu ala al-Habib, sallallahu ala Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. They are the exemplary devotees. They are the exemplary devotees. They are the exemplary devotees. They are the exemplary devotees.